day breaks into my room and steals last night from under my sheets. The curtains, wail and alarm, toss our shadows to the floor, but the pillows on this business house cast it speak both. It is dark. A funeral of evening laughter lays on my chest. The sun causes four straight bar to ring. This is the story of the morning after. Yes. Part one. I resurrect my flesh with the belly, early morning. Her mantras, her mouth full of her feathers. I just lay there and watch her missing wings. Come on. She reincarnates herself. With the echoes of my breath holding on to her thighs for dear life and the sound of my voice scratching in her lungs. Let me out! She just Who's that? <laughs> and then she said, Is your hand the pit where I purge skin? Tell me where might I find a place to baptize air here? I tell her the bathroom is across the hall, ah. this door on the right. This house was never a home, so just ignore the walls when they start reciting you unwelcoming poems and telling you to take back what the sun stole. Just go. Purge your skin. Baptize the air. Girl, by the time you're done, your Uber will be here. Blank <laughs> stay. She proclaims. When your lips are the cups that took cups of my blood, you expect me to flee? Nigga, please! I proclaim, Mara, it's unlike fairies to put their faith in make believe. And like, who told you that this is where love comes to sleep? When my bedroom's the venue where death and time come to meet. Your sisters hang in my skeletons and their clusters. Their names are the monsters under my bed. So tell me if you want to join me. <laughs> All these drugs have been taking me closer to you. So that can fuck up, but you know what, you know what it do. All these drugs have been taking me closer to you. Fuck up, you know what, you know what it do. The silence is abusive. It holds us by our throat, turning our voices into nooses. Three minutes to the right. You feel like me. 